today we are here with Wesley Channel. Uh, he's a professional photographer. He's today with us in Smedrevo. So tell us something about your work and what are you doing here? Well, my theme is beauty and I'm showing my exhibition, uh, Serbia Balkan Beauties, One American's Perspective, to just show some of the beauty of this wonderful nation. Have you had uh, exhibitions like this in America? I have not had the Serbian one. I've been in other exhibitions in America, but I've done this only first in Serbia before I bring it to America because mm -hmm. I wanted to import it back to America. So uh, I, I think you have mentioned that you're going to give it to charity, like to the royal family? Something like that. We're, we're trying to figure out. At the end, when we finally show it, mm -hmm. we hope to show it two or three more times. Yep. We want to give it to a charity and leave it here in Serbia. Mm -hmm. yes. So you're bringing something back to America and something living here? That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. So are you planning an exhibition there? I, well, I hope to do one in the, in the upcoming year. We're still talking with some people in America about different places to do Serbia Balkan beauty over there. Mm -hmm. yes. In your hometown or somewhere else? Well, I will do it in my hometown. That's easy to do, but I'd like to do it in Washington and do it in the Northeast as well. So. Uh, how did you find out about Serbia and her beauty seven years ago? My brother drove me here. He lived in Zagreb at the time. And he, yes, he drove me here and uh, I visited and got to meet some people and got invited back and accepted the invitation. So here I am. <laughs> so what do you think about the Balkans? Do you th uh, is it uh, like uh, the whole of the Balkans is, has its beauty or just Serbia or especially Croatia, maybe Bosnia? I think all of the, the Balkans have a specific beauty, a different beauty, and uh, part of it has to do with the different peoples as well as the nature. Uh, it's both, so it's a very distinct area. Mm -hmm. So when you mentioned, mentioned 15,000 photos, did yeah. you mean like the whole Balkans or just Serbia? I mean Serbia, yes. yes. 15,000, yes. not 1,500? 15, no, no. Oh, that's a lot of pictures yes, yes. or photos. So uh, what is your speciality? Portrait, landscape? Uh, beauty. Uh, <laughs> whether it's portrait or landscape, uh, I, I certainly love to do portraits. I love to do people and help them uh, see their beauty and discover the beauty. And I love to do landscape and let people discover their, the beauty of that. Uh, do you ask people to stand or you just capture the motion? I work with them a while where, so they will not think about themselves and then they will show me who they are and then I'll capture their beauty. Do you ask them to be someone else or just them? No, uh, I don't need them to be someone else. I need them to be themselves. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what is interesting that uh, the picture one, what is behind me uh, yes. in, the, in the other room, yes. there's a whole picture that is everything is green. Yes. I, who live in Serbia for 17 years, I haven't seen that green in my life. So I'm pre pretty uh, in interested uh, in where did you take it? That is Mount Maglish. Mount Maglish, it's near Valjevo. And uh, I'm on the other side of a mountain, so I, I walked. Was it really green? It was very green. Uh, well, we, we, we worked on the green to, make it to, to fix the contrast, but it was very green that day, yes. And I was standing, and the sun was coming straight down, so it was a very green day. And so I captured that. Did you go on foot or uh, we I, went on foot. I wish I could have driven. It was a long, long walk that day. Well, you know what they say, if you go on foot, you feel the destination and feel the nature, so you can, you have more ideas of what you're going to shoot or uh, something what you want to express with your photos? Well, I felt it a lot that day, I promise you. <laughs> what is the most, uh, let's say, interesting spot you visited in Serbia? Is it more that you not, cannot choose? I, I couldn't really say. There's so many different places uh, and so many different things. Uh, uh, this was a wonderful place with the woman in her house. and uh, This is in the same mountain, actually, and uh, they live there. They No, this one is that's in another place altogether. This one um, was in the, yeah, the old lady. I, I think that was, she was so cheerful, so wonderful, and it was just a wonderful stuff. That's her son. Uh, she, the son had died uh, of natural causes, but that was his wedding picture, and she just wanted me to take her picture with that. Your son died? Yes. And what does, let's say, uh, this picture expresses? It's pretty blue and... Yes. Amazing. Well, it's, I was, uh, a, it's a gypsy village, and... Uh, 
yes, and the gypsies had come together for me for hours just for me to shoot them. And so in this picture, they're dancing in front of me, and I merged seven different frames. It's called multiple exposure to just show the energy of, of this amazing fun they were having and get the color. Do you, do you ride somewhere? Uh, what are your ideas? Or you g get it on foot? When, whenever you go, you bring, you take your camera with you, and just shoot. Uh, uh, Do you have a list? Uh, no, I I make and take photos. Sometimes I'm a discoverer, and sometimes I'm an explorer. <laughs> so it depends. Uh, uh, many of the things of Serbia were as a discoverer because I did not know what I was going to discover. Yeah. But many of the things at home, I'm an explorer where. I'm looking for something special. Do you think you saw everything? Oh, no, no. Are, are you planning or visiting he, or being here again? So I've heard that you're going on on Sunday. I leave, yes. I leave uh, again uh, back. Well, I've got to go to Bosnia and then... Why to Bosnia? Uh, because I'm, wanted, I'm doing shooting in Bosnia as well, yes. And, and then I'll go to Vienna and then I'll go back home. Are you going to uh, have a task or have an idea to merge all the photos from Croatia, Bosnia, and Serbia, just to see the old Yugoslavia and all the nationalities, because we're Alto, pretty Alto, similar. Yes, you're similar culture. Ultimately, my vision is to do each country in the Balkans. But I wanted to start in Serbia, mm -hmm. and then... So this is just a start? Yes, yes, and Bosnia is my second, uh, because I'm wanting to change the mindset in the West. Mm -hmm. We make simple decisions about who you are, and do not see who you are. So I felt Serbia was the most important to start, move to Bosnia, then on to the different countries of the former Yugoslavia. Are you moved by the quote, uh, the book is not uh, judged by its cover? Uh, that's good, yes, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not judged by its cover. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, can you give, uh, give us a general opinion you got from your visits here in Serbia? Something to finish this conversation and just to say what you think for the people of West and the people of East. What do you think of Serbia? Well, again, I think that Serbia really prizes relationships. Uh, you may be poor in material things compared to America, but uh, we are poor in relationships compared to Serbia. To see the great joy of living and interacting in relationships in Serbia is amazing. You think uh, Americans prize the privacy and that is how they just separate from each other? And they have some just families, but they do not... Uh, merge with other people, like have a bigger relationships, like bigger families, like ants and all sorts of ants. Because the uh, funny thing, funny fact is that in Serbia we have uh, four words for ants, like the, the second one and the, the, the ant from your grandmother and stuff like that. Well, it does seem that there's a lot more of that type of socializing. We're very individualistic, not that we don't have relationships, but not on the level that you have here. It's a wonderful thing. Are your goals just to show what is Serbia and what are relations or eventually to change something? Well, I can only throw seed. I can't make the seed grow. And so, but I hope to change perception and to allow people to understand each other without just looking at the cover of the book. You know that this, uh, let's say, exhibition and the one and the ones you are going to do in America and somewhere else are going to help just the general view of Serbia is going to improve in the eyes of the West or the eyes of the East. I surely hope so. So, just to finish our conversation, uh, when are we going to see you again? I do not know. <laughs> the winds will bring me back, I'm sure. The winds always bring back. So, that's it uh, from today's conversation and today's exhibition. Uh, with me is Wesley Channel again. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> In Serbia we say... Das Virginia.